The Yaya Network decided to use Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, as honoring the victims of police brutality and state violence. It is a Mexican holiday that can be traced back to pre-colonial times when many indigenous cultures gathered in celebration to remember and honor their dead with an offering of food, love, and courage. You know, Dia de los Muertos is a holiday that's native to Mexico, to um, indigenous people in Mexico, and it has definitely been influenced by um, Catholicism in the process of La Conquista. And, you know, right now we're seeing that um, the culture of Dia de los Muertos is uh, being appropriated in, uh, in other countries like the United States, and um, some of its value has been lost uh, as it kind of enters a more mainstream uh, culture in the United States that kind of like devoids it of the, the, the spiritual aspect of it and the fact that, you know, for us it's a holiday not where we trick or treat or where we, you know, just celebrate the death, um, but it's, it's really about connecting to, to the people that we have lost and commemorating their life and celebrating their life. <laughs> The celebration of Day of the Dead has always been different everywhere you go. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that change is uh, that change happens. And so for me, it's not so much a change, but as long as the, the tradition keeps on with, uh, keeps on being celebrated, uh, here you have many, many elements being represented and it's, and they have different ways of being, uh, being represented in different ways, in different, not just in New Mexico, but in different countries. So we're all celebrated and it has changed and I'm happy for that. symbolizes how uh, we call in Mexico in Nahuatl, which is called the Momoshni. The altar symbolizes the connection between us and what's up there. This is, this is, our, this is our ground for where we pray. This is where we go when we need help, when uh, either let it be spiritual, anything, anything that might be troubling you. This is where I personally go to pray to give an offering, and this is where I know I'm, I'm being heard, not just within the realm of actually being listened to, but actually being felt in an essence larger than what I may even imagine. Uh, this is my connection with what's up there. So the altar literally symbolized uh, kind of like humanity in, in a way, um, as the dancers in the ceremony explained. Um, the first, uh, there's different levels to the altar and each level uh, represents a different thing. So the uh, level in the bottom represents the body, the, the one in the middle represents the soul, and the one on top represents kind of like your, your mentality, your mind. Um, and so, you know, we put uh, fruits and bread and the favorite foods of our, of, our, of our loved ones that have passed away in order to welcome them into the space for the night and, and have them in, in, our, in our space and presence. Place upon my altar bullets for those used, shot and murdered by unjust racist ideology. Place a photo of Oscar Grant, Renisha McBride, Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown. This year we are connecting to the people that we've lost due to state violence such as Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Trayvon Martin, and many others. The other
once more, this is a reflection of the innocent lives that have been lost and a celebration of the tradition of indigenous people in Latin America and the United States. All I know is state violence. All I know um, is the genocide, the murder, and the death of my people at the hands of the state, whether that's the COINTELPRO program or what's happening with the militarization of the police right now. Um, so I connect the two because while Dia de los Montos may come from another culture, um, we're inherently interconnected, right? Black and Latino people are inherently interconnected. Um, and their struggle is mine and mine is theirs.